There are stories behind every plate, which are licked clean and shining. In fact, stories emanate from every sun-kissed sign, heirloom smoker, and gingham-covered table. You see, folks come for more than just a meal, but a true Southern experience. Our barbecue is legendary, a true staple of South Carolina culture. Tourists photograph it, and locals cherish it. To put it simply, South Carolina barbecue joints have character, and the stories of their buildings, signs, and smokers prove the experience is more than just slow and low barbecue. It's a memory. Take the Pink Pig, a cheery barbecue joint on the edge of Hardyville, South Carolina. The Pink Pig sign was designed by the restaurant's late founder, Mark Thomas, and his sister, Rita Thomas. It boasts a winged pig floating on clouds. It describes their food in one word, heavenly. A lot of people think they've died and gone to heaven when they eat something this good, explains Rita Thomas, who runs the family business nowadays. And when it comes to schoolhouse barbecue in quaint Scranton, South Carolina, you might just get a whole lesson in history. The schoolhouse was built in the 1930s by the Works Progress Administration, the WPA, and served the African-American community for 30 years. Folks come through here and tell me they used to sit in this very room for school, says the restaurant's owner, Stacy Nims. His restaurant is charming, and walking through it proves his appreciation of the building's rich history. Every wall holds the proof of everlasting memory. That's what makes our barbecue restaurants special. Nothing fancy, <laughs> but a darn good feeling.